it. Here we are. It's 1000 R. Oh, the Forgotten King. The Taken King. The Dethroned King. Or is it? It's a bit like that Game on, of Thrones quote. We're all spokes on a wheel. Sometimes you're up. And as the wheel turns, one minute you're at the middle, then you're down. This is the king, 2014 onwards, from about 2013, 2014, this is the king. 2015, still king. Then steps in this R1. And oh my gosh, you read the reviews for yourself. Best super bike, best in class, best this, best on track, best everything. The fastest lap times, everything, you name it, right? So that's the BMW S1000 double R's thrown taken. Then they come out of the MT10. And if you read the reports, I mean, I know the bike's only been out for a bit and we don't know about reliability or anything like that. But if you read the reports, guys, then you will see that this bike has, uh, the MT-10 has pretty much demolished this as far as the reviewers are, are saying. And the fact that you can put a um, screen and some panniers on it means that it's effectively a rival for the S1000R. So has that meant that... The new king is the cross-plane crank and the inline 4 from BMW has been made redundant. Well, I've never ridden this bike before, so I want to find out. And I can tell you right now, I've been on it 5 minutes and I'm sweating buckets. This thing's a monster. Favourite detail on this bike, I have to say, for me, I know others are going to say no, 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 no. Is that, I mean, what is that? They look like some kind of vampire teeth. That is wicked. I love that. 160 brake horsepower it's light i don't know how light it is i think it's probably around 200 210 i'm gonna get back on it now and I, I, I what i want to find out from this is is it is this still doable for you fact of the matter is the mt10 to me is probably worth around seven grand new and they're selling it for 10 10 and a half but to me it's about a seven grand bike pretty much from the fit and finish whereas this you look at it you look at the components, you look at the fact that, you know, all the wires are hidden. First things first. Apologies for the um, mic. I had to put a different mic in it, so... This one might be a bit too blustery. I'm not sure yet. But please, I apologise. Rembo's work. Family. No, 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 Lord. No, Jesus. <sighs> hey! Motherfucking bike burnt through my damn suit. But look down there. Look. Look at my trousers. The bloody bike burnt through my flipping trousers that's how evil this bike is you would just never ride this bike in every any other way other than intended to kill yourself anyone who tells you that this isn't rapid is is kidding themselves useless same as the XR same mirrors I think I mean what is that that what is that shape seriously man I'm trying to look behind me what is this trapeziated triangulated rectangulated mess it's rubbish and they buzz so bad anyway you know what I mean mirrors are like heroin addicts once you get past 60 miles an hour and shaking and weaving and barbing Uh, 
I don't know. No. Electronic suspension is rubbish. Is this what they call like? I'm sorry, man, but <sighs> I'm gonna come right out on the bat and say it. The only bikes whose electronic suspension works is the multi There, I said it. I don't care. I don't care who is watching i don't care how many times people dislike this no one else's electronic suspension works did it work on the adventure right it was way too hard for that much the amount of suspension travel it had it was still too hard it ain't working on this doesn't work on the xr i said it that's my opinion man everyone's got their opinion that's mine it's electronic suspension for what it costs ain't worth it just set your suspension up properly yourself just get fully adjustable suspension and set it up properly yourself man this is bollocks because I'll tell you something, my Triumph has got the worst suspension in the game. It's like some Kobayashi suspension or something. Basically, some suspension that no one's ever heard of. Some kind of Indonesian, Sri Lankan, Jamaican suspension. No one's ever heard of it, and it just soaks up everything. It's actually making me dread trying the new Triumph, because that's got WP, fully electronic suspension, and I think it's going to have ruined it. One thing I do like about inline fours, so usable so much spread between no power like this i'm in fourth gear right this is fourth gear look at my hand doing 20 miles an hour it's no surgeon beautifully fueled this bike but sure when the mood takes you this bike is mad as mad as the MT-10. Don't let anyone fool you. Right? No one on an MT-10 is going to be leaving you on this bike. That's what I'm basically trying to say in this video. Nobody on an MT-10 is going to leave you on this bike. If somebody on an MT-10 leaves you on this bike, you can't ride. 